Today I'll be reviewing the Kershaw Lifter. This is part of their Black Wash series. It's model number 1302BW. This is one of Kershaw's import knives. And the MSRP on this is $29.99. But I got this particular knife from Blade HQ for $19.95. So that's great price. So let's go over some of the specs. The overall length is a little bit under 8 inches according to Blade HQ's website. The blade is a little under 3.5 inches. The material for the blade is 8CR13. Uh, typical blade steel that's used for most uh, Kershaw import knives. It's got a plain edge with this recurve and the Tonto style tip. There's no serrations. You have stainless steel handles and the whole knife is black wash finished. So this is one of Kershaw's flipper designs. You can deploy this knife with the thumb studs, but I would recommend using the flipper. It's you get a solid deployment every time. So it does have dual thumb studs. It has this hole in the blade. This is not a deployment hole. I think that's just for aesthetics. And it is a frame lock knife. And the great part about this is it has this bar here like some more some of the other Kershaw knives that prevent the frame from stretching out too much so your lock will uh, will work and it won't break the lock up there's no side to side or no up to down this is very good lock up for this blade you have a single position tip down right hand pocket clip that's a disadvantage but for the price of twenty dollars I don't think you can really complain about that it's a nice deep carry pocket clip too that's one of Kershaw's uh, common design pocket clips but carries really deep well, if you put this in your pocket you're not gonna see any of the knife so good deep carry pocket clip so this is a good everyday carry knife I would say it's a little bit on the heavy side uh, the website says five about five and a half ounces that's because you know there's no G10 there's no FRN handles this is all stainless steel but you're only paying $20 for it and it's a pretty neat looking knife I would say and that's why I bought it was because I just I really like the design with the curve and the blade with the Tonto and just a neat black wash finish and it's got neat handles too I, I really like the handle design on this so it's not a light knife I mean if you want a light everyday carry knife mini grip tillion. Those are very light and good deployment. But you're going to be paying a lot more for a mini grip tillion. So, a comparison to the Kershaw Lifter. Kershaw Cryo. I do not have a Cryo 2. Cryo 2 would probably be closer in size. But when I look at these two, they look pretty similar. The Cryo, you actually can change the pocket clip. Tip down, tip up, right or left hand carry. So that is an advantage. But same deployment. They both have good speed of deployment. Same pocket clip. The lifter's a little bit bigger, of course. And they both have that retention bar, I guess you'd say. Do you make sure the frame does not overextend when you're closing your knife so again this yeah so this is the lifter and let's 
got a little more. You got the Kershaw logo. And on the back, you have the 1302 BW for black wash. And there's no logo on the handle. And no logo on the pocket clip. The cryo does have the logo on the pocket clip. And this is pretty neat too, the little pivot point there. It's got this nice little polished stainless steel pivot. Adds to the knife. And uh, yeah, it's flow through construction. So for $20, it's hard to pass up. And it's a good quality knife. And Kershaw, I have a few Kershaws and have not been disappointed. And yeah, so that concludes this video. If you have any questions about this knife or any of the other knives from uh, my knife collection or just any general questions, leave a comment below and hopefully I'll continue to be able to make videos more frequently.